Georgia travels to Kentucky. Kentucky got beat by Missouri last week. Georgia had the bye. They got healthier. They got fresh legs. What I like about Georgia, they've got the best scoring defense in the SEC, only giving up 19 points a game. Kirby Smart always has a great defense, but their offensive line is getting it done. And Stenson Bennett, their quarterback, he's been a really big surprise in there. He's not very big, but he gets the job done. Doesn't make a lot of mistakes. So a smart quarterback. Georgia's given 14 and a half in this game. I like Georgia to win this game and cover that number easily. I like them 42-17. Well, you never know which team's going to show up. You don't know about injuries. You don't know about COVID. You don't know about girlfriend problems, having coach. You got a different team each week. How in the world does Kentucky end up losing a football game and then win the next two? The following two weeks, they beat Tennessee and Mississippi State, and then they fall to Missouri. Georgia, I love their defense, Mark. I love the way they run the football. But I am not a big uh, sense and benefit. He threw three interceptions in the second half. Now, remember this, Mark. There was a quarterback. I watched Georgia's spring game two years ago. There was a freshman quarterback named Justin Fields, and I'm saying to myself, that guy is really special. But they didn't play him very much his freshman year. He transferred to Ohio State, did a fantastic job. Can you think of how good they would have been had they had Justin Fields as quarterback who very seldom throws an interception? In addition to that, Clemson, I mean, uh, Georgia was beating Alabama at halftime. But got outscored 21 nothing in the second half. I look for Georgia to hold on, win this football game 33-17. to But we're going to see a different Kentucky team this week than what we saw last week against Missouri.